What is happening, everybody? Welcome to That Knife Show 30, episode 30. Uh, We've already got some people in the chat. We are super excited, and we've got a really cool show for you. Greg. What? Stuff. Knives. What are you doing? What? What? Yes. So, um, weren't you going to ask me a question? What is the knife of the show? Show of the knife. Knife show. The the knife of the show today? Well, that's kind of difficult. That's like asking my wife what she wants for dinner. Um, I've been married too long. I'm not answering that question. You're no not going to get it. You're going to get a. You're going to get one of those. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. What do you want? I don't care where you want to go. And so I'm reminded of uh, this scene from the original Jungle Book, like the the animated one. Let's see where you go with, with this. The, with the birds. <laughs> Where they're like, what do you want to do? do? I don't know. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't start that again. Uh (laughs) So we've got several knives of the show today. We've got several knives to get to. We've also got a lot of uh, different things to get to. We've got a lot Um, of people in chat, too. Hello, peoples. What is happening, everybody? We got KC. We got got some guy named Isaac in here. Didn't we kick him out? Isaac! So Isaac and I are getting ready to go to Blade Show West. So if you're going to be him attending, and Isaac are enjoying a nice romantic uh, weekend. Blade, Blade Show, Show West. West. If you're going to be attending Blade Show West and uh, you see us around, definitely stop us, say hey, um, talk to us. We'd love to see you guys. Um, we're really looking forward to it. We've already got some appointments set up to talk to some people. Um, really excited about seeing everybody at Blade Show West and uh, seeing all the new stuff coming out. Um, we have people on Facebook too. And uh, we're also really excited about uh, coming up next month, um, in almost exactly a month, uh, the Fall Gathering with Georgia Bushcraft. It's going to be a very, very fun event with classes all weekend. We're going to have a booth set up. Um, we're going to have a camper there. We are. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So it's going to be me, Greg, Isaac, Dylan, Hannah, all, all of us there. Um, we're gonna Alex have is going to help us one day. Alex is showing up on that Friday. Oh, that's right. Yes. That's right. Yeah. So uh, we're super excited about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Nice little road trip for us there. And uh, we've got a lot of really cool knives here. Uh, some exclusives. Um, and we've got some great deals here. Some stuff that's on sale. Lots and lots of um, stuff. We've got some stuff that's not out yet that's coming out very soon. So, Greg, I don't know. I think uh, we need to do the damn thing. No, wait. No, that's Taylor Martin. Oh, yeah. Let's light it up. All right. So we've got a lot of really cool knives, like I said, to get to. And um, we're going to start off. Now, most of these are going to be in the description below. So if you want links to them, um, just check out the description below. Um some of these are not, like I said, out yet or even built in our system yet. Literally two of these just came into the purchasing office this morning. We stole one of them as it came in in a box. Yeah, we sure did. I was like, nope, that, 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 that's not for you. That's, I'm taking that. Um, we didn't so, even sign them release waivers or nothing. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. And I didn't even drop it. It's not that, amazing. Well, not, not this yet. one. I mean, not this you're one. still going to be handling it. I threw one in the house. I am... So I have become known as the one that drops knives and, and breaks stuff, how which is really became, sad. Especially how you became the one that is the one known for breaking things, I, I don't, don't know, especially working around me. So yeah, that's really um, special. But we got a lot of stuff to show off. One that just came out this week, and we want to show you guys, is the next installment from our, from our Vincent series. Now, um, if you haven't seen these yet, this is a brand new knife. It is an exclusive design. Not just model, exclusive design. Um, collaboration with uh, Jesper Voxnays. Um, this is the Vincent. This is the White Storm model. And uh, we're going to take a look at that one up close right there. This thing is a beauty. Good grief, that's gorgeous right there. Um, we're talking uh, the White Storm Fat Carbon Scales. Vanax Blade Steel. 
um, that cutlass blade right there with the finger choil. Um, got the thumb hole opening and the flipper. Got the reversible wire pocket clip right there. And uh, the ergonomics on this thing are absolutely wonderful. I love the belly on it. I think this would make a great Skinner knife. Um, I think this would be fantastic. Well, it is and hunting the, season, so it'd the be anodized a good time backspacer to put it to there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that pop. Look at that pop. Look at that that reverse flick pop. This one's coming in at two twenty nine. And uh, Vanax blade steel. I mean, so we did a blade steel video on Vanax here a couple weeks ago. And uh, what a lot of people don't realize is Vanax is really hard to come by. Um, that's a very difficult steel to get your hands on right now. Um, with the way everything's going. And uh, we we really wanted that Vanax super clean in there. And uh, this stuff is awesome. It performs amazingly. I've done some testing with it and uh, absolutely love this stuff. Um, and that, that knife right there is gorgeous. So this is the third installment. We've already done the uh, Toxic Storm. We've already done the Lava Flow. This is the White Storm right here. This one is available now. And uh, so we'll be taking this one to Blade Show with us, uh, showing that sucker off. And it's great for there. anybody dressing up as a pirate for Halloween. Oh, absolutely. Got yeah, that got cutlass your, shape got your there. Got cutlass right there. Yeah, absolutely. So um, that one is out right now, and that uh, that is definitely one of our knives of the show. Yeah, when we started all um, this, it was supposed to be the knife of the show, but then yeah. we had something else and something that grew on us, like green. Green grows. Green grows a knife. Yep. This one, this one right here, uh, is releasing next Wednesday, next Wednesday. Now, if you remember, one year ago, um, we released our incredibly popular uh, Spyderco PM2s, um, first in the Arctic Storm, and we had that Arctic Storm in the coated blade and in the satin finished blade. Then we released the Jungle Wear um, Green Fat Carbon and the Lava Flow in the coated blades, but we didn't have the satin blades well they're here now we did get those in in the satin blades let's take a look at that up close in case you've forgotten what these puppies look like while you're giving that a look at that up right there, give a shout out to elvin he's giving us a uh, he's on his lunch break with us all the way from puerto rico today oh that's awesome elvin what what is happening man thank you for joining us we appreciate that thank you for taking time um your precious time during your lunch break that's that's really cool and uh, so this one's coming in uh, with the M4 on the blade steel right there, CPM M4 on the blade steel, um, the Jungle Wear Fat Carbon green handles, and, of course, the uh, four-way pocket clip, compression lock, um, paramilitary tool, all the same specs, except with that CPM M4 on the blade steel. And uh, let's see if I can spidey flick this one. Yeah, we, kn we all knew I could. I'm glad someone can. <laughs> yeah, um, Greg tried to uh, murder his computer mouse just a few moments ago, uh, right before this live started, and um, yeah, he he tried to spidey flick that one and absolutely stabbed his Apple mouse. I thought we were playing William um, Tell. I tried to hit the Apple. I did hit the Apple. You, yeah, you did, and it scared the crap out of me. I can tell you that right now. So, um, if if anybody wants to start a fundraiser for my health and well-being, I have a feeling I'm going to need it because nah. uh, I think Greg's trying to kill me. Um, but here we are. And that's so, not the only one because we also have another exclusive up there. No, I'd go to the next one up because we have four, like nine, we, twelve. We, we have lots. a lot. We have a lot. Um, this one makes me think of Corbin. So... We sent these off to Corbin. He's going to be doing some uh, videos with these, and these are going to be coming out very, I'm very nervous. soon. So um, this is our exclusive from Bear and Son, Balasong. Um, titanium handles, S35VN on the blade steel on that gorgeous ground Tonto what, blade right what there. What metal is that? What, what S35VN, ah. that's right. Yep. Oh, no need, no need to be afraid. I've been practicing. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing a little bit um, yeah, every time with my trainer. Every time practice blade over there. Yeah. I've got a trainer that I've been practicing with. Let's take a look at that one up close right Push there. Button. So this one's coming in. Um, let, me pull, let, me, let, me, let me pull up this stuff hang on this on, one. Hang on, hang on. Because I think we've got this one up, maybe. I maybe. don't think so. I don't, I don't think we've got oh, no, these are Oh, no, these are not. Yeah, they don't exist yet. These don't exist yet. So... 
Well, like I said before, um, this is going to... So, what makes this one really cool? Number one, it's got the pocket clip. Titanium handles. Um, also, the catch right here is spring-loaded. So, one thing that is um, very important when it comes to ballast songs is... And the reason why a lot of people take this catch off is because you don't want that thing just flopping around because it's going to change the weight on you um, while you're flipping that bally. So this one is spring-loaded, so it stays in that one static position. Now, it will move out of the way if you hit it, um, but it is going to stay in that one position right there. You can see it's spring-loaded. Um, S35VN on the blade steel, and they've done a phenomenal job with the grind work on that Tonto blade. Um, got a nice swedge up top, um, making it come to a really cool-looking point right there. Um, I really, really dig that thing. Um, really great action on that. Uh, and it's looking like it's coming in on washers right there. Um, that's what it looks like to me. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but this thing is gorgeous. And I tell you what, it's really easy to, uh, to flip. I, I mean, n super smooth, got a great weight to it. Um, and I'm by no means a ballast song flipper. By no means, is um, he? But that one right there is really, really nice. Now, as far as price goes, I think that one's going to come in somewhere in the 170, 180 range. You know more about it um, than me on this one. Don't quote me on that, um, but that's going to be about where it is. We just wanted to show it off because we got one in hand, and um, we're really excited about seeing that one. So... Um, we don't have a lot of information on it because literally these just came in. Um, but these are going to be going out very, very soon. Also, well, that's three nines yep. of the show. Huh. No. Okay, he just stole this one off Tony's desk. He stole this one off Tony's desk. Did Tony even know that you stole that? Yes, maybe. That, that I don't believe you. Ah. Anyways, <sighs> the new Christmas Trapper is here. Well, they're not here. They yeah, they, we're, we're hoping these will be in, hopefully, around this time next week. Um, okay, that's but these, are, these are these oh. are the, this is the sample that they sent in. We're going to show that one up close. We know everybody's really excited to see the Christmas Ooh, Trapper. Mike Curtis is here. I know who somebody Every that is. Every year, I yes. I know somebody that's excited for this one. Um, so this is the uh, 2022 Christmas Trapper. For this year, and I'm really excited about it. I really dig it. Um, Lots and I of actually, details this year. so I told Tony um, when he showed me this one upstairs uh, just a little while ago um, that I was going to have to get one of these to add to my dad's collection because this is what I've been getting my dad uh, every year for the last few years. And of course, uh, I inherited his collection. So and Nor um, you can just say Nora's buying it for you. So it's all good. There we go. Exactly. There you go. So this is the engraved version. It's coming in with the snowflakes. Uh, on the bolsters right there. Uh, nickel silver on the bolsters as well as the uh, bell right there. And, of course, got Santa and his sleigh with that case logo right there. And uh, then you open it up. It's got Case Christmas Trapper 2022. And um, just, I mean, this is a great collectible knife right there. And I love the... Um, the purple on the bone handles. It's a beautiful I, it, it I think turned it's fantastic. out a beautiful color. It yeah. really did. And um, I tell you what, they they absolutely nailed it with that because purple has been insanely popular, and I think this is going to be a very popular installment um, for that case Christmas now, folks, Trapper this line. this is another one that there is no link down below because that yeah. knife does not exist yet. And, uh, of course, just like always, we'll be getting the, um, uh, the plain bolster version as well. Um, but we always like to show off the uh, embellished bolsters right there. And an extra are, step on that one gorgeous. is it's embellished on both sides. Yes. Front and back. And that's an yes. extra detail they did not have to do, and I'm glad that they did. Yeah. So that one's gorgeous right there. Um, that one's going to be coming out. Hopefully we'll have it uh, in stock and up uh, about this time next week, sometime around there. Mm -hmm. um, that's what we're hoping for and looking at right okay, now. Okay, so those four are the knives, knives of, of the, the show. show. Yep. Yep. Consider we started with one this morning. Now we're up to four. Well, now that we're already in the spirit of the season, and it's not even Halloween. Do you want to stick with Christmas knives? Yeah, let's talk about Christmas knives. Because this Christmas is the time knives. of year every every year that we start getting our Christmas knives in, and uh, we know everybody goes crazy over all of our different Christmas knives. We've got a couple right here 
from Boker. We do. And I know that there are some people in our chat that think they have been good enough to already start getting their Christmas stuff, and they're wrong. I know better. So Silverbeard Silver EDC is in here. I know he's not been good. David Iverson's in here. He's not been good. Well, Isaiah Barnett's in here, and he might have been good, but that last name throws me every time. <laughs> That's a great last name. I don't uh -huh. want to hear it. Um, so we've got the uh, Boker Christmas Trapper and Barlow right here. Now, I definitely want to show these up close because there's something really special going on with these, um, both with high-carbon stainless steel on the blade steel. And um, so if we look at this one really close, you'll see that this one's got a little bit different uh, shield right there. So That is a new specialty shield for us. And if you want an even closer look than this, than what, what I can give you right here, um, go online and, and j well, just click the link in the description below. Yep. It'll take you to those. And uh, you can see a really up-close shot of that shield. Now, what that is, you know Boker. Boker's the tree brand. That's a tree on the shield, but it's not Boker's traditional tree. You'll see one lone kind of small Christmas tree with, with one, little, one ball. little Christmas ball on it. And uh, it's gonna, it's definitely going to uh, evoke um, some really awesome memories. I'm super stoked about this. Of course, Merry Christmas right there uh, on the blade. And uh, beautiful red jig bone handles on that. And, of course, the trapper is coming in with the same shield as well. Um, so take a look at that shield right there. I absolutely love it. KJ's really excited about it. He was like, I want it, I want it, I want it. Um, so, yes. And David Iverson's trying to say that he's trying to be good, but we all know better than that. So it's one of those that you always have to uh, be on the lookout. And Christmas knives, even though that they, they make a great present for everyone else, but buy them for yourselves. And uh, it is a wonderful thing. Um, I would like to take a moment. That uh, What you just showed me reminds me. Um, how's the feed doing this week? I know we had some issues a couple of weeks ago um, with our connection. Had some issues with the uh, the speed and the feed. Speed and the feed. <laughs> now it's funny. Um, is everything sounding good? Is everything looking good? You guys having any Not issues? Not our looks, the, the way that everything's flowing. Waiting on those comments to come pouring in. Mary Francis, we don't think you're contrary. Let's see. And Byron Kennedy's here with us. We appreciate you being good. David Iverson says we're doing, doing well. Good. All right. Mike Jernak's in here with us. Hey, Mike. And, of course, our buddy Timmy B. We always appreciate. <laughs> no, KC, I always wondered if I could put trappers in my trapper keeper. KC, you're, uh, you're really telling our age right now because, uh, yeah, I remember those trapper keepers too. We took Emma the And other the five stars. We yeah. took Emma the other night to the uh, store to see what she wanted to dress up as for Halloween. They have a Lisa Frank costume. It's in the oldies section. That's still a thing. It's in the oldies section. It's in the oldies section. Wow. <laughs> that's, that's sad. Oh, my gosh. Um, so, again, really excited about those Christmas yeah. knives. And we've got a couple of more, too. Um, Colby we said know they look good in Kentucky, so it looks like... The, awesome. Do we, do we need to do the thing that awesome. the Isaac said, or are we good? Stream looks good. Put the, huh? The Isaac thing. He's oh, he sent that? Yes. Oh. You think I'm just showing you things at random? Look, he's still the boss. I have to listen to him every now and then. Well, at least on air. Um, yeah, I actually did do that. Um, I don't know. Hashtag old people. You're at it. Let me see. Walmart's got Trapper Keepers again? And your kid didn't want one? Did you tell him how awesome they are? Sharp is that showing we're doing good in Pennsylvania. Long Island Knife Guy, welcome in. I see you post a lot of stuff over on IG. Guys, if you are not following us on all the social medias, make sure you hit us up on them. We're on YouTube. We're on Facebook. We're on IG. He dances on TikTok. It's a whole thing. Let's see. Elvin Miller, guys, I'm uh, did it the EDC this week. Two new knives, the CRK, C, the crit spew, and D two, crit, 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 and Rough Rider neck knife. Which were, hey, which neck knife did you get? Um, My question: SMKW coming out with more exclusive knives in D two. We are coming out with all kinds of exclusive knives, um, so always be on the lookout. And we yeah. update. We, as soon as we know something, we update you guys because we're the media team. They don't tell us things in advance because we'll tell you. We let the cat out of the bag all the time. Right. Yeah. Um, Cricket knives, yes. I think uh, I, it, it apparently didn't save last time I made that adjustment in OBS, but I think it uh, I think it did this time. Okay. Um, These pushing buttons. Yeah. I'm, 
I'm experimenting. Michael Reese, um, we all want a trapper keeper. I'm going to see if I can get a trapper keeper and turn it into a knife roll. So we've got more Christmas knives. We do. More I have them here. Do you, do you want this one? Or well, this let's one? stay with the trapper right now, since this we're one. talking trapper keepers. Trapper. And, um, and since we've got Isaac's here, give it a good sniff. Our, ni- our resident knife sniffer. Yep, smells like a knife. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is going to be our uh, Rough Rider Christmas Trapper um, in the uh, lenticular design. And uh, we're going to show this one up close right here. While you're showing that one up close, we've got somebody new with us, Silva240. That uh, brand new Spyderco right there is not even built yet. It just came in today. So be on the lookout. We'll drop some uh, links to it as soon as we get it built. That's going to be a SNKW exclusive. Now, you'll see this lenticular design. They've done a super awesome job. Um, got Ho 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 right there. Um, What'd you call me? Not calling any names. Um, we've got the Christmas tree. It changes right there to Santa Claus. Um, just a, a great looking knife. And then on the back side, you've got the Christmas tree right there with the ornaments. Uh, and then the ho, ho, ho. And oh, all Mike that. Curtis is liking um, it. Yeah. I, I mean, they've done a really good job. I tell you what I love about this one and some changes that are some things that are different about this one. I love the long pull that's included on that clip you point are blade. You for a long pull. Um, long pull. Uh, actually, if you look at the secondary blade, it's also got the uh, long pull and the nail neck as well. Um, and then that secondary blade, you'll notice it's also got a nice swedge um, on that uh, front side of that bl- front part of that blade, um, the lead edge right there. And I really, really love that about this. And of course, um, we got to do this for Isaac here. All right. So we got to show the nice little box snap. Here we go. Sound ASMR. There you go. I know that I, I could see the meter go up on that one. That one that one actually turned out nice. Now, as much as I do love this knife, I actually like the other one just a little bit better. Well, That's me we, personally. Before we get rid of this one, I want to give a shout out to Al and his team because he's been doing little blurbs and things. The blurb on this one is, This knife is animated with the spirit of Christmas. To watch the show, just turn the handle slightly. On the front, snow falls while uh, Christmas tree lights twinkle on the back. That's cool. <laughs> I like that. He's been having fun with this stuff. I like that. That I one's like coming in at sixteen ninety nine. Sixteen ninety nine. You can't beat that. That's now, a great price. The next one, and this one I absolutely love, uh, and of course this one has the uh, Merry Christmas Rough Rider uh, and shield these on it. Just came in last night. This is the Half Hawk version, and uh, yeah, we picked all of our knives out yesterday before we left, and um, we did not have this one because. Uh, it was not out there on the floor, nope. so we didn't have this one for the show. Well, we saw it this morning and um, definitely had to pick it up. So I'm going to open that blade and try not to cut myself. And there no cutting go. yourself live on the air. Um, and we're going to show this one up close. Now, I really dig this one. I love the green um, and white uh, candy cane stripe right there. I think that looks really cool. Um, also love the uh, reverse frost etching on uh, the blade there with the Merry Christmas. And uh, I like how that red shield just sets it off. I think this is a great looking knife. This one's coming in at Mm $19.99. And I also really like half hawks. Um, I just do. I I like the blade shape. It's, it's definitely one of my favorites. It's a very user friendly Um, shape. This one's four inches closed, weighs just three and a half ounces. um, And really, really dig that. This one coming in at $19.99. So a little bit more than the lenticular. Casey, both Um, of these are available now. The links are live down below. These are up and available now. And show them the box on that one close up. That way they can see, uh, because what I like about the box on this one is the red badge is the badge it's on. Yes, that is the um, shield that is on the knife itself right there. So that's a, a close up version of the shield right there. Very, very well done. I, I love that right there. Byron Kennedy wants to know, has anyone ever made a snow globe knife complete with gingerbread or deer hide and glitter? Y- you know? And KJ says, stop assaulting the hawks and cutting them in half. But for each hawk, we get two knives. It's a half hawk. <laughs> They're giving me dad jokes now. Come on. Push the button. You're still on close Wow. Up. Wow. I can't. I, I just, I, I didn't want everyone to see the disappointment on my face. They know you work with me. It's fine. 
And over on Facebook, Sharpest Edge asks, how about a Christmas K-Bar for my USMC family? That would be pretty cool, a Christmas K-Bar. That would be cool. Candy so, stripes all the way up the blade? Well, is that how you would do it? Or, do or, it. or would you candy stripe the, the leather, no, that makes stacked leather sense. handle? That makes too much sense. You candy stripe the blade. Yeah, but that stacked leather handle would look really cool it candy would. striped. Especially Ooh, if you make, did the if the you did the cut ins, make the sh- leather sheath look like a Christmas tree. Okay, my brain went uh, no. I was mm-hmm. wondering no. Okay, um, we've got some more knives to talk we about. We have more knives. Um, so some ones that just dropped today. Today. Um, and if you were if you've been watching the channel, you saw the video that we put out on Sunday um, of about NAFs and uh, the stuff that Ben Peterson is creating. I think is phenomenal. Um, I, I love the innovation. I love what it does for the community and for the market. So we talked about his lander, which a lot of people have been really excited about. A lot of people got in on the Kickstarter for this, and uh, we are oh, yeah. we are really excited to have these available for everyone. Everybody who's um, been reaching out to us that has gotten those on their Kickstarter and absolutely loves them. Yeah, um, I mean it's just a great. It's a simple design. It's flicky um, as all get it's out. super flicky, and I tell you what, it's amazing that he he was able to make this knife the way that he did and keep it as thin as he did, while making them basically quick breakdown, like so you can take the scales off, but the knife doesn't actually come apart. That is amazing. Um, I can't tell you for cleaning purposes and people like and me for customizing purposes how much easier that makes it. All right. Um, and if you watch the video, you saw that it, it literally took less than a minute to take the scales off, put the other scales on, and tighten them down. And uh, this thing is super fidgety. And KC was saying that he's appreciative of you showing off those jade scales that can be dyed blue. Of course. KC's going to take a perfectly beautiful jade G10 scale and dye it blue. Why would you do that? You can go ahead and get blue ones. Get the blue one. Yeah, just get the blue one. We're going to show these up close. Um, so these are coming in at what, 59, 58? Oh, yeah, there's a link. Hang on. <laughs> there's a link. It happens. Boop. Let's see which one I picked. So these are coming hey, at 58 boop. even, um, which is a, a great deal. I mean, this is going to be a great EDC knife. D2 tool steel on the blade. Phenomenal action. G10 on the handles. Reversible pocket clip. Um, and the cool thing is... Like I said in the video, these are open source. So you can download um, the dimensions and you can 3D print your own scales. Or the really cool thing is, if you're like me, you love to customize and tinker with stuff. And I've got some new projects in the works. I've been, oh my gosh, I've been down a very deep rabbit hole the last week or two. Um, but I love to tinker with things. I love to tweak things. And that's going to allow you to to really customize this however you want to. And it's going to, these things are going to blow up on Etsy, uh, custom scales and stuff like that. Um, it's going to, I likened it to the AR-15. You did. It's, it's going to be that customizable thing that everybody's going to really gravitate towards. And um, I think it's wonderful. Uh, you know, now, a lot of people in comments are commenting on how small they are. It is 3.6 inches closed. The blade itself is 2.75 inches. And the weight on this thing, 2.4 ounces with what it is now. And, you know, you say small, but, and I have medium-sized hands. They're not large by any means. But I have no problems getting four fingers on that knife at all. Like, not even with a finger hanging off. So, no problems getting a full four-finger grip right there. Um, and very solid grip as well. So I, I think this is a, a perfect EDC size. I don't see that being too small at all. Oh, no, my wife watched the video the other day and saw how much I flicked this thing and went, no, you can't have that because this is one of the top five flicky knives I've seen in the last little while. Thrifty yeah. Knifty's in with us. What's happening, Thrifty Knifty? You're still in close-up. Um, so also from NAFS is going to be their tool burrito oh don't say burrito i'm getting hungry and uh i really dig this thing i think it's really cool um it makes me want a hot dog real bad uh i have to do the accent when you say that stuff um so got a nice toggle right there open that up and it's got two um magnets right here 
And somebody in the comments on that video made a, uh, a great observation. Those magnets come in really handy because there's two magnets there. There's two hey. magnets here. Jason Teets is in with us. Jason, What's happening, Jason? Jason, are you going to be at Blade Show West? Let us know in the comments because we're sending him. Yeah. And I need somebody to keep an eye on him and prove that he's actually doing work. So if you would take responsibility for him, I'll send his leash. Wow. Um, so somebody in the comments of that video made a um, great observation that these magnets on this uh, on this tool burrito here would be great for holding your hardware. Um, so as you take, uh, so you've got, after you unroll it, you've got your space here that holds your tools. You've got your zippered pouch. You've got the slide-in pouches, and you've got the elastic here. Um, and you've got a work area right here, a padded work area that you can take everything apart right here and have all access to your tools. And then you've got magnets here that can hold the tiny screws that keep your knife together. I think that's, I mean, the when we talked to Brian about this, mm -hmm. how simple this design is, um, I, I, think it's, I think it's phenomenal. Uh, that one's coming in at $34.99. Thirty-four ninety-nine. Um, great design. I'm it's, definitely going to be getting one of these. Yeah. I, I'm. I'm. I thought that one was yours already. I think this you've one had, is going to. You've be had it up here long enough. enough. I've had it up here. I long mean, enough. it's not overcomplicated, and if you do mess it up, if you mess up the bungee cord there, it's easy enough to attach your own bungee cord again. Yeah. Um, it's a tough material. It's not going to cut easy. It's not going to rip easy. Yeah. And going and watching Ben's video of it, he's actually shoving taquitos down in there. Yeah. So it's a great video. Wonderful yeah. way. Phenomenal tool burrito. I uh, I really dig that, and I think that's a Jason's not going to be a Blade Show West. It's oh. I got to stay home too. I know how it goes. Uh, oh, now don't talk about Taco Bell. You're going to only make me hungrier. Quit that. What's wrong with you people? All right. Um, Where are we going next? What do we got? Oh, we've up got next, great deals. Up next, we've got some phenomenal deals. So, folks, if you haven't been on our sale page, and don't we have a link spe specifically to our markdowns? Uh, we actually have the Site Busters category is what it's called. Okay. So if you go to Site Busters yes. on our site, and so there's many of them. If you there. haven't been to our Site Busters page, um, we've got some insane deals that I was not even aware of. I um, I miss these when they actually happen. And then when I was looking back through some stuff. You're welcome. I found these and was like, whoa, wait a minute. What? So one of them being... This Boker USB right here. This is our exclusive with the carbon fiber front scales right there and the M390 on the blade steel. The deal on this thing right here is absolutely insane. This one's coming in at sixty nine eighty eight, I believe. I'm pulling it up. Sixty eight eighty. Okay, I was one dollar off. The thing he forgot though is that's normally one hundred and fourteen dollars. One fourteen, and we've got it at sixty eight eighty eight right now. Sixty eight eighty eight right here. Carbon fiber front scales. M390 on the blade steel, and, of course, dead nuts reliability on uh, that Boger USB out the front auto. Um, absolutely love this knife. And for $68.88, you can't beat that, folks. If you don't have one, you need to get your hands on one now because this is a deal that's not going to last long. These aren't going to last long at $68.88. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that's that's close to cost right there. It's you're very you're close. getting Mike, you're getting a better discount than I get. Mike Reese just let us know he picked up one of the squids in the grenade copper pattern and that's also on the site busters as well. Yeah. Um another one that we've got is uh going to be this Boker Quaken out the front auto. Release um, the Quaken. And this is the uh the completely blacked out murdered out however you want to put it. Um Greg hates it when I say that but Hate it. I'm the one that told you about it. So this one's coming in with D2 on the blade steel. And, uh, I mean, this thing is another yeah. great deal. Normally 104.25. This right one's coming now. in at 78.88. That's outrageous. 3.19 inches on that D2 tool steel drop point blade yeah. with the black coated finish. Um, dual action out the front auto with the thumb slide open and lock. Um, of course, it is an auto. So it, just like the USB, you got to think about where you're at and uh, whether or not these are legal in your area. Um, but uh, this one is a Lucas Burnley design um, and weighs just 3.4 ounces, just under um, just under three and a half ounces, black aluminum on the handles, black anodized aluminum. Um, really dig that. Super smooth and super, uh, I don't want to say covert, but just a very it's sleek. A, it's a great knife. Very you sleek drop knife. drop it outside at night. <laughs> You're going to have to wait till the next morning to find that thing. But it's so sleek. It like very this much is. is, and because of the coating they've put on it, it's non-reflective. This is like uh, James so. Bond. 
like or John Wick. Like that's that's what this reminds me of. Like just super slick right there. I love this thing. It's a great knife and a great deal. And make sure to check out those sight busters. They're always adding new stuff to it. Let's it hits see. nice and hard too. Um, um, just we, clicking on it right now, those CRKT squids we were talking about, normally yep. thirty nine ninety nine, twenty four ninety nine. There's ammo on. We've there. also got some great deals on ammo. Oh, Check that, those the out. Giant mouse that we've got on special, normally two forty five. Yeah, the biblio. Oh yeah, the biblios. Um, those were two forty five when they first released. They're one eighty five right now. Oh yeah. Um, the Boker Plus Kalishnikov. That one's coming oh, in at eighty two. These, these just got marked down yesterday. I was telling you, there's a lot of Kershaws on there. Tim B, where are you at? Listen to this. There's a lot of Kershaws that got marked down yesterday. That Cole Pepper, normally forty nine ninety nine, marked down to thirty three seventy five. Yep. And the highball, the titanium exclusive mm-hmm. of ours. The titanium Kershaw highball, under a hundred bucks. Under a hundred yep. bucks. That's that's insane the boker plus catalyst that we did uh, all the different colors of it we've got that marked down from 47.65 all the way to 28.88 do you need to buy somebody a christmas knife right there's your christmas knife. oh absolutely you're gonna win christmas with that yeah yeah and mike reese even says the catalyst looks like well all these people clicking on it i appreciate that heck yeah jason teach says he loves that otf there we go lots of people in with us and Ray says, let him worry about the cops. Just ship it. <laughs> yeah. The problem with that is we can't because they come for us. See, They're then shipping we lose laws our too. license. And uh, yeah, then, yeah. Then it's high school all over bad, again. Bad things happen. Bad got, things happen. I got to ask my mom for a ride. <sighs> so, but I mean, we, th- there's lots of knives. There's lots of everything. Why'd you leave that one open? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Leaving a knife open. Yeah, uh, thank you, thank you, Byron. Um, help help heckle and Jekyll here out and uh, slap that thumbs up button. Did we ever figure out which one of us is heckle and the other one's Jekyll? I'm Jekyll. You're heckle because that's what you do to me constantly. All right, I can't um, argue with that one. So uh, <laughs> now, I think the only thing we have left to do is going to be our picks. Our picks. We oh, we got some good ones this time because we did yeah, change we did. the rules a little bit. We did so. And we asked you guys in the last one how you would feel about us um, changing the uh, parameters for our picks. Because there is a little bit of trouble sometimes finding new stuff that's going to be fall within those parameters. So we did change the parameters a little bit. We put budget at under 50. Mm-hmm. We put mid-range under 150, so we didn't up it that much. No. And then high-end is going to be anything over 150. Um, and, you know, w- even with the ones that we picked, we didn't really go to the limits of those new parameters by any means. I did, um, just, I did just to be a, a smart aleck on the low end. Hmm. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I went, yeah, to, for- I did. went to 49.99. 49.99. Yeah, I, d- I did not. Um, Isaiah, nothing under 10 this time, but of course, always check out Rough Rider. We've got some new Rough Riders getting ready to hit soon. So for the under $10 category, of course, you can't beat Rough Rider because it still comes with that lifetime guarantee built by hand, back for life. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, Greg is heckle and CC is Jekyll and Hyde. <laughs> I like that one. I also like that all the beard Wait, uh, fans it, uh, hit. Does that mean... Casey, does that mean like you never know what personality you're gonna get with me? Is that is that what you? Well, he has about? been around you for enough time. He understands. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! All right. So who's going first? Uh, I'll go first. All right. All right. So I went with a Barlow, but not just any Barlow. An SMKW exclusive from Baron Sons because I didn't know that we were gonna have the uh, uh, battle song on there today either. But that all works out. Uh, we've got an entire series of these. We've got five of them, all yes. of them, forty nine ninety nine. They have the carbon steel on there. And ten ninety five. Ten ninety. Ten ninety five carbon steel on this. Um, green bone on the handles, um, and and the link does take you to all five of them. Yes, um, these are really really cool. Uh, American made, right down there in uh, I believe Jackson, Alabama, if about I'm not mistaken. 40, about forty miles from uh, Mike Curtis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we've got them in. What do we got here? We got a large. Uh, we got the Barlow. We've got the Trapper. Yep. We got a. Uh, we got a Hunter there. We got a Lockback. Stockman. Like the, the Stockman. Yeah, what's that one? Large Stockman. So we got a regular Stockman, and a Mini Trapper. That's the other one there. So we got a Mini Trapper and a large Trapper, a Barlow, a Stockman, and uh, we are sold out of the, uh, the Lockback right now. But. Um, these are really cool. Nice exclusives. Green bone on the handles. Um, and 1095 carbon steel on the blades. 
Uh, absolutely love that choice right there. And half stops, just a great deal from Bear and Son right there. Um, I really could not make up my mind between the, the ones that we had downstairs and a Barlow's classic. You can't go yeah. against it. And with so many people, we're going to be getting our custom shop back soon. And that leaves you a lot of space right there if you wanted to get it laser engraved, make it something special, something along yeah, those lines. Absolutely. So, well, what, what was your budget? My budget is one that I really like for a beater knife. Um, for a, a great EDC, and that's going to be the uh, Bird Robin 2 right here. Um, nice lockback. Uh, I love the Bird series of knives. This one's coming in with 8 CR13 MOV on the blade JB, steel. JB, welcome in. Let's take a look at that one. I What's happening, were, JB? I thought you were on the road today, brother. So this one's coming in with the uh, brown FRN handles. That's the one that I picked. Um, I dig the brown ones. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's weird. Um but this one's coming in at thirty dollars and ten cents, uh, so you can't beat that. I mean, you're getting um, you're getting Spyderco basically or ergonomics and and design, mm -hmm. um, but at a more affordable price. And I love the fact that you're getting. I mean, as far as I know, this is the only four way pocket clip in that price range. Um, I cannot think of another one. I, I can't either. And uh, so this one's got the uh, thumb hole opening and super smooth, just like I mean, just like you would come to expect from anything um, produced by Spyderco. And it's um, just their budget friendly materials yeah. are putting into it. It's the exact same feel in hand as what you're used to, and being able to get it at a great price and make it a true work knife. I love the finger toil on this one. It's super comfortable. Uh, it's three point three one inches closed and weighs just two point two ounces, and that's going to be a great beater edc everyday carry just go to town work knife um that's also not going to be hard to sharpen up uh once you do dull it um i think that's a that's a phenomenal option and a great price uh, at 30 dollars right there um for a very reliable knife mm -hmm. love that one all right mid-range picks what do you got well what my mid-range is actually not up online it was yesterday, then it's not today because that we have a limited number of these. And this is one of the Protec Runt Fives, and this one is in Magna Cut, which is the hot metal of the season. It really is. Um, and I just love the way these feel. Lancelot, Protex. Uh, uh, Jeff from Lancelot Leather, who stopped by and saw us the other day, appreciate you, uh, carries one of these as his daily go-to yeah. automatic as well. So, I mean, uh, just hits so hard got the jimping on the back of it and magna cut if you guys have not tried a magna cut anything yet can't recommend it enough really digging them i give it to you closed there we go um so and let's just watch the the pro tech action is what we really love and it just flies out there it pops really nice um really dig this knife and for 150 bucks you can't beat that right there uh, got the anodized aluminum handles uh, like you said magna cut on that uh, sheep's foot blade right there and uh, just I really dig a sheep's foot. It's just such a usable blade shape. And this is a great size. It's not scary. It's not imposing. It's just, and I can actually get four fingers on that. Oh yeah, um, you've got sm you've got smaller <laughs> hands than me. So there, yeah. I, I can get a three finger grip on it, but there is no four finger for me. I can actually get four fingers on that right well, see, there. It's got the hidden lanyard hole uh, yeah. tube. No, it's a hole on the back of there. I could yeah. I could get you to put a lanyard on there and then be fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, really, really dig that thing. That's a great deal right there. They're not going to stay in stock very long. No. Um, this one will, do. so if you stick around, uh, this one will be available online. Uh, we've got maybe three or four of them, um, but they're not going to last long. They never do, and but, they, but they are worth it. I mean, yeah. I'm the cheap one here. We all know this. I am the cheap one, yeah. and I'm tempted by this. That tells <laughs> you something. That, ugh, my wife's going to kill me. All right. Yes, we're killing sheep for the feet as well. We got we got hawks, half a hawk, and a and a sheep feet. It, <laughs> sheep sheep feet. Sheep feet. Sheep feet. Sheep feet. Um, Where did you go for mid range? Mid range, I went with an old standby that is one of my favorites. Everyone knows I'm a huge LT Wright fan. Oh, aren't we all? I love I love LT himself. I love his knives. Um, just a great dude, great family, and uh, makes incredible products. Um, and I went with the bandit and this is one of the new ones that we got in so here's the deal we had an issue a while back um with certain ones um so now we're ordering them a little bit differently we've got different levels of the bandit 
and we've got some of them that come with lanyards. Some of them do not. I'm going to go ahead and say that they're different prices, all right? So if they're 110 they're not going to come with a lanyard. They're just going to come with the leather sheath, and that's a nice, thick leather sheath. I love If they're work. 125 they are going to come with the handmade lanyard right there. So um, let's check that one out up close right there. Now, this one's coming in, like I said, 125 Um this is called the, uh, and of course this is an SMKW exclusive, but this is called the Honeycomb Micarta. Um, and I really dig that pattern. That just, that just looks really, really cool. It's more of a really light, light brown. Thanks for stopping in, Rob Blacks. Tan. We'll see you on the next time around. And um, this one uh, is coming in uh, with that 3-inch uh, AEBL steel Which uh, is a great blade steel. right there. Nice 90-degree spine, so it's going to be able to strike a ferro rod really easily. Um, two and a half ounces on it, 7.37 inches overall. And the ergonomics on everything LT Wright puts out is absolutely fantastic. And he doesn't let anything leave his shop that he doesn't like the feel of. And uh, his quality control um, and their attention to detail is phenomenal. And, of course, that leather sheath is awesome. I really dig that leather sheath. It's very well made, very well done. Um, and that's just coming in at 125 125 for a nice handmade knife right there. That's going to be great for uh, an EDC fixed blade, bushcrafting, anything like that. Um, that's You can't beat that. Timmy B's got one and says he loves it. And KJ Pearson says he picked his up last year at Rep Days. Uh, spent about an hour talking to LT and letting his uh, the folks from Smith & Sons play with his dog. And you know if you can impress KJ, that's really mm -hmm. saying something. We never impress KJ. Ever. We're talking, and, and you know that that whole group of people from Smith and Sons to LT Wright, the guys at Essie, it doesn't get any better than that. I mean, those guys. Well, are except maybe Shane. <laughs> I was, I was trying to think of something <laughs> snarky but appropriate enough that I could say it. No, I was like, no, I can't, no, I can't nothing. do that. Shane is one of the nicest people in the world. Patrick is awesome. That entire group is yeah, they're, they're great guys. We're getting ready to go down to Georgia Bushcraft, and yeah. one of the biggest things I'm looking forward to is seeing LT right, is seeing the guys from SE, seeing uh, Casey and all of them, seeing Joe Flowers, Kelso, Kelso. Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if uh, Kelso is bringing the goat this time. Doubtful. <laughs> not with that many people. Goat's not friendly enough. So, what have you got for your high end, Greg? I went for a fixed blade as well. Uh, talking about Georgia Bushcraft and all that, I went with the SR Scorpion with sheath camo micarta. And this one is from Dave Canterbury's brain. I, I really tell you what, uh, I'm, I'm digging his knives there. And uh, these things are extremely well made. They're well made, they're well packaged. And this one does come with the leather sheath. So. Yep. And that's a really nice leather sheath. Super thick. I'm going to show that up close. I'll pull it out of the sheath. Um, nice and thick right there. Mm -hmm. um, but the the this is like slightly stiff, but not too stiff. It's softened up a little bit. Um, feels like it's been pre old, and that's I mean that's that's a really cool feature right there. God, that's a gorgeous knife. And you were saying before we started the live here mm -hmm. uh, that the ergonomics on this thing just felt so good. That was one of the main reasons I grabbed it is I uh, was able to hold it in hand. It feels like it was made for my hand right away. Handed it to you and also felt like it was made for your hand. Yeah. It's, it's it does. Wonderful. I mean, it fits It fits a variety of hands. And, of course, you know, for bushcrafting, I love a Scandi grind blade. I was going to say, KJ's asking if that's, that's a Scandi grind. It is. It is a Scandi grind. And uh, I love a Scandi grind blade. Um, you know, the opinions vary. Everyone's got their own. Um, and I understand pe there's certain people out there that don't really dig Scandi grinds. I love them. Uh, they work great for me. For my outdoor knives, for my camp knives, hiking knives, yeah. no problem whatsoever. And really, you know, when it comes to Scandi grinds, it's not that hard to reprofile it and uh, put a secondary bevel on there if that's what you want. Um, but it's not necessary by any means. So um, this one's coming in uh, 4.25 inches on that 1095 carbon steel blade with the 90 degree spine nice and sharp 90 degree spine too um, thick, so I mean, yeah nice thick blade stock full tang fixed blade um got the brass lanyard tube on the back end right there uh and uh, outside of that two rivets on each side 
And you know if and, it stands uh, up to Dave, it's going to stand up to anybody. Oh, yeah. Because he puts all of his stuff through the ringer. Nine inches overall, five and a half ounces. Um, just a great, great bushcrafting and outdoor hunting knife. Um, that's going to be a great option right there. I really dig that one. Coming in at $169.95. Um, that, wow, that's a really good deal. I was not expecting that. Well, the, the, I had picked out another one. They're, they've got a wide range in their prices between the 170 to $300, really depending yeah. on what you're going for. That's a great and deal for a well, Pathfinder I, knife even right the, there. Even though we raised the prices on stuff, I'm still the cheap one. I can't go high. I mean, I picked a heretic <laughs> one time, and I think I blew Isaac's little mind. He's never let me forget it. So, I mean, it's one of those... I'm really digging the outdoor knives. It's that yeah. time of the year I'm outdoors a lot more. So that one right there, I yeah. like it. Um, mine, for my high end, I went with uh, kind of a newcomer. Um, one that we just picked up uh, from Blade Show this this past uh, June. And uh, I've really been digging these things. I, I love the feel of them. They feel super classy and uh, really nice fit and finish. They're super simple. And uh, I think these would be a nice, um, I guess, business um, yeah. knife or Sunday go to church knife, it's something a, like that. It is a make a statement gentleman's knife. But make no mistake, this sucker comes like ready to perform. Um, so that is the tactic, tactile knife company. I always want to say tactical. <laughs> um, tactile knife company. This is the Rockwall Golf. Right here, um, and, and once you see the, it, oh, clo- show them up, the up close. close. They'll know why it's called the golf. You see it up close, you'll know why it's called the golf. It's uh, it's got the divots right there, um, just like a golf ball right there. Magna cut on the blade steel, yes, magna cut on the blade steel, um, and we're talking titanium handles with the titanium backspacer right there, uh, titanium pivot, and even the pivot right there. You can let me see if I can get that a little bit closer. You can barely even see the pivot. It blends in so well right there. Um, so they've even done the divots out of that titanium pivot right there. Um, it's made here in the USA. It's four inches closed, uh, weighs 2.6 ounces. Oh, I did and, not know uh, that. What? Thrifty Knifty is letting us know tactile is Texas. Yes. I yes. Did not know that. And uh, let me see if I can reverse flick it. Oh. <laughs> God, that is so satisfying. Mm-hmm. I mean, and so if you look up close to, I don't know if you can see this, but there's even detail on um, the, it looks like almost lightning cuts or grooves that have been cut in those ambi thumb studs right there um, at an angle. So they're like sweeping around that. I, I mean, just so many small details mm-hmm. that they've done so well with these knives. And uh, the action is just incredible. And honestly, this is one of those that... See you on the next go-around, Silverbeard. Thank you for joining us, Silverbeard. Appreciate that. And ProX has dropped in. How are you doing, ProX? So this is one of those knives that when I first picked it up and saw where the ambi thumb studs were in relation to the handle, I was like, I'm going to have a hard time opening this. I remember you commenting on and that. I, I looked at it and I was like, that's going to be difficult. That's that's not going to end. And then it just popped out. And I was like, what? 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 Um, so, I mean, th- the action on this is amazing. And how they've done the geometry. Uh, Welcome in, Ember. That's where some of the cost on something like this comes from. Not just the materials. Of course, we're talking about premium materials. We're, t- we're talking titanium it's, all the way around. It's premium materials on as the well steel. as premium design. Yeah. How much time did they put into that? How much time do they put into making each piece? Exactly. So, and I mean, when you talk about fitting these together, something this precise has to be um, tuned. It has to be hand fit. So... This one's coming in at three twenty nine, and that's why. That's um, and you, I mean, even though we up the price, I have seen you pick much more expensive stuff. Oh yeah. For the, for the price of what that is, I can see that being a gentleman go to meeting knife, being a boardroom knife. I mean, any time that you need oh. to make a oh, you missed that one. I oh, did. Fell. I uh, uh, I will call. I will help with that. I, I got you. Um, there we go. I, I redeemed myself. I'm glad you finally learned how to uh, reverse flick that way. And it's one of those things that that could be a boardroom knife any day of the week. No problem whatsoever. Definitely a gentleman's carry knife. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, All right. Now, really now the question that. becomes, what do you got in your pocket? 
What you carrying? So, I am carrying, and uh, so you're you're gonna get. Hang on, let me get it out here. I'm carrying my uh, Tour XT1. This one right here has been uh, in my pocket more than anything else since uh, just before Blade Show. Is that foreshadowing for something? And um, so our next EDC with TC uh, is going to come out on Thursday. I think we're planning on. And um, you're going to be on a plane. We're going to go over the top five knives that I have been carrying most as of late. And the prices range on these five knives from seven dollars to four hundred and seventy five dollars. Um so see, I say he does have seven hundred ten dollars, see? Yes. And you're gonna see that on that video. Um that one's coming out, like I said, on Thursday. You're gonna see the top five knives. The one that I've been carrying the most out of all of them has been this one. Um because I, I really wanted to put it through its paces. And we're talking five knives that not only have I carried, but I've been using. And there's a difference there. Because, See you on the next time around, KC. Um, thank you for joining us, Knives Fast. Uh, you are awesome, my man. Um, so, Byron, uh, you go have fun, too. Thanks for is, being with us. We're out of here and just submit ourselves. This is one of those knives, and, and I wanted to say this. Um, of those five knives that I, I, that I put in that video that I've been carrying most lately, all of them I use. Um, now there are certain knives that every once in a while I'll carry, um, in addition to another knife, um, that I carry just mainly for show. I don't really use them that much. Um, I might open a letter with them or a package or something, but I'm not really putting them to hard use. And that hurts you every time you actually do that. And so, but these five knives are knives that I'm talking, I actually use, um, whether it's cutting flooring because we've had a big project cutting drywall, um, actually putting the uh, cutting rope and cutting, uh, like if I'm using them on uh, when I'm cleaning up tack or something like that, need to cut through some leather. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking actually using these things. Um, so um, this is one of those knives that I have actually put through its paces and actually used, uh, and it's it, it keeps coming back for more. I really dig it. I like the size. I like the weight. Um, I like the ergonomics of it tremendously. And the cool thing about it is we were talking to uh, Bob mm -hmm. from Tour and uh, really excited to see. They, so this is the X-T1 Alpha um, with the titanium handles and the S35VN on the blade steel. They are coming out with some other versions um, that are a little bit more affordable. We're talking G10 on the handles. And um, I think they're keeping the S35 on the blade steel. I'm not for sure. Um, but really excited to see those. Those are coming very, very soon. So we're really excited to see those. Um, also got some new Willet Cut material coming up very soon as well. Um, I am so looking forward to that. Yeah. So we've got a, we've got a newcomer in the Willet Cut series. Um, An approved one. Yes. Approved. And uh, they are they are excited about it. We're excited about it. So we're excited to bring that to you guys. And uh, we'll see what happens with that. So. And we're getting it brought up in uh, chat. Real good example, guys. If you're on IG, uh, we did lose a member of the community, Jason Brown. Yes. We miss you, brother. Uh, EDC Roundtable is hosting a raffle for them. Big mm -hmm. Red just did one. JB, by the way, that was beautiful. Yeah. You were wonderful, That's my friends. Awesome. Uh, make sure to go over and visit them. They've got all the rules up. There's a lot of people that have donated to this. The knife community is one of the greatest out there. I cannot say enough about how wonderful and how big their hearts are, each yeah. and everybody out there. Our hearts and prayers are still with the Jason Brown family, and every bit of that is going to go towards them. Uh, and they are wonderful people as well. So we appreciate you guys. And yeah. I have a surprise what I'm carrying today for you. What you got? I got a knife back that you gave me, and you're not going to recognize. <laughs> TC, not too long ago, gave me a Spyderco Mule Team. If you guys know anything about those, it's a fixed blade, uh, wonderful way to test out new metals and everything else along those lines. And I got some 3D printed scales made for this thing. Check those out. We were talking about the landers earlier. It got me thinking about when we met Ben and everything else along those lines. So these are snap-on uh, 3D printer handles and sheath on there. I'm having to do it as a belly carrier right now until I get some others. But, I mean, for being able to do something brand new, being able to go do something that is new that to the knife community. Feels that feels really good. I'm really excited to get this thing out in the field, have some fun with it. 
Uh, this may become my jacket belly knife, something along those lines. I'm not quite sure yet what to do with it. So I'm going to have some fun. That, today is my first day getting it back. So That's awesome. I really dig that. That's really cool. I thought cool. you might like that. Absolutely. And uh, that one's in Magna Cut right there. That one is Magna Cut. Love that. That is really cool. I like the color, too. It's, uh, it's a shame Casey didn't get to see that. I think he would have enjoyed that one as well. He likes gray? Well, he ain't got no hair to go gray. That's blue. Oh, the blue. I thought you were talking about the sheath. Jeez. Okay. Um, folks, that's going to be all for us. Do you guys, before we go, do you guys have any questions? We're uh, up on YouTube here. Do we have Facebook? Facebook uh, is over here as well. Uh, KJ, there was actually an employee here. He's going to be getting a store set up, and I've already told him as soon as he lets us know, I'll let everybody know, uh, drop on there, but he just went online, found the, uh, there's many, many different varieties that you can do on these, and this was about the eighth or ninth one he had done, so don't feel bad about not getting them right. Let's see, sharp, uh, the sharpest edge over on uh, Facebook. It's got to get back to the shop. Hope you all have a blessed day. Thank you stop, for awesome. stopping in. Thank you, man. Anthony DeBauer, we appreciate you being here. Uh, and Jason Teets, of course, always. You are welcome by anytime you ever come down make sure to see your mom and dad. Make sure you stop by the store here. We'll get you in. We'll do interviews, everything else. Let's see. KJ's in with us. And again, everybody, stop over on IG. Go see, uh, go see uh, EDC Roundtable. Yeah. Good guys. Yeah. You can also see check out Lancelot Leather there. Uh, lots of good stuff. And when we get some more knives in, we'll show some more stuff of theirs as well. Yeah, absolutely, folks. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much oh, for Rob joining nice us. Rob Nice dropped in at the Where you been? We've been here for an hour. You could have showed up an hour ago. Now we you got to go back and watch it all hour. again. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. It'll be available. It's up. As are all the knives that we showed. It. Well, most, well, of, most of, of the knives. Most of them. Most, yeah. But, guys, you're awesome. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate you. Um, and it, like I said, if you're going to be in Salt Lake for Blade Show West, be sure to come by and see us. Would you put it down. Put it. Greg, I've almost got it. Put it down. I've almost put it. Uh, it'll work. Scaring the bejesus out of me. Um, folks, pray for me. Um, I need all the help I can get. Um, like I said, if you're going to be a Blade Show West in Salt Lake, uh, stop me and Isaac. Talk to us. We'd love to see you guys. Um, and uh, remember, if it cuts like something Greg needs to put down. <laughs> And we carry it. <laughs> I didn't know a knife could go through a mouse. Jeez.